Well, how do there? Charles Design, Captain of the Steves, and I'm just heading over to my portal base, mainly because I want to portal to a system that I found years ago for finding sort of like these strange organic structures in space that when you destroy them, they give you cursed objects. Because I'm wondering whether this update, well, this emoji that Sean Murray's posted with an emoji cursing, where it means that we might get something happen with these cursed objects. I mean, it could be that we get cursed wells, so this might be a completely pointless exercise. But, you know what, just in case it's not, let's go and do this. We've got little else to do at the moment, so let's go and hit this up. So let's go put in my portal code. Oh, great, I'm just going to charge all this up, and I'll be right back with you people. Okay, now this is going back to my old NMSA days. Look, you can see my old freaking logo on this one. So this is in Euclid. Let's go and stick in this code then. There we go, people. Don't fall asleep, phone. Come on, activate portal. Lovely jubbly. And I need a boatman boat face, followed by a Sunday set, and a BTR, and a Triforce. That's the first four. Next four, a Sunday set. A flux capacitor, an eclipse, and a waypoint. Last four is a whirly man twirly black hole, a beetle, and a whale, and finally an eclipse. There we go. Activate a mondo. Look out! We're going to be jumping into there. Now, this should take us to a planet inside of the NMSA hub. So there was a time when they actually released these spatial anomalies that I spent a heck of a lot of time just going from system to system and pulsing to see what actually resided out into the darkness of space. This was one of those finds. Okay, right, well, we've arrived, Kated. Let's see if it still comes up with my name as discovered the system. What? No. Okay, kick on. Okay, kick on. Dang it. And kick on to my freaking name off the freaking thing. He might have found it before me, he freaking knows. Sorry to assume your gender and all that sort of shenanigans. Oh no, look, there you go. I actually did find this. I called it NMSA cast. I just couldn't have uploaded every single planet. Righto. So you can see here, it's got an X there. So it's an abandoned system. So the station will probably be one of those red angry looking ones. But anyway, let's uh, jump into the ship. Now, what I tend to do, though, is go up to the station, jump in my ship and out of my ship, then do a reload of the save, just so the game knows that I'm definitely inside of this system, so it doesn't make anything go squiffy. So let's fly on up and let's fly on into the space station and let's make that happen. Right, oh, so let's go on over. up And on our way we go. Might as well go into the other screen mode now, might I? This sort of look. So you can see more of the game and less of me. Heck yeah! You're here to see the game. Maybe listen to my majestic angelic voice. Yes, I know. I spoil you with my voice. <laughs> it's Marmite. I think some people hate it. Okay, now a word of warning, people. Now, when I this used to work quite so many years ago. It might not work now, but that's for me to test, so you don't have to. But it takes about an about a minute and 40 seconds of pulsing for this to actually work. So it's not quick by any stretch of the imagination. So now I'm just going to go into here and I'm just going to reload the auto save. Here we go. There we are. Lovely jobs. Okay, right, well, we're back. Let's jump in the old ship then. And let's um, peek to the skies, shall we? And we're just going to pulse. Oh, my days. That looks very chromatic, doesn't it? We're going to pulse over Zissave. I'm going to be pulsing for about a minute and 40 seconds, roughly there or thereabouts. Once I actually get it to spawn in, I'll turn round and clock onto the station so you can see exactly how long it took, took to um, get it to appear. But this is going to take a little while. It's going to take my time, not yours, because it's the power of editing. I'll see you in a moment. OK, we've encountered something. Let's hit the brakes and let's see what it is. There we go. We've got the hazard containment field. Right, eh? Well, here we go. We've got a message coming in that's warning us of its presence. Containment report, life form stable and communication. Right, and you just shoot that. <laughs> and kaboom. We got a box of glassy nuts. We didn't really want a box of glassy nuts. We wanted something that's a little bit more, you know, cursed than that. So all I'm going to do is go back into here. I'm just going to reload again. Is that going to reload me back in space? Because it now does autosaves, doesn't it? I really don't like this autosave feature. I don't. 
I don't don't like it. That should have reloaded me back in the station so I could get to rerun it again. I should have chosen one below that. Fudge! Okay, well, we'll see if it puts me in the station or if it puts me in space and people. There we go. Fun times! Yeah, it put me in space, didn't it? Okay, well, let's spin it around then. Let's just look onto the station. Let's see how far away the station is. So, here we go. Tag. It's not telling me, so I'll start pulsing. 1 minute 15. We'll start pulsing back and we'll see if we get another one spawn in just before I hit the station, yeah? Okay, here we go. Oh, yep, yeah, there's another containment sphere, so it still worked anyway. I, I didn't get a photo of the last one, so I need to get a little bit of a photo. I'll get a bit closer. No, not that button, this one. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now let's get a picture. I think that'll do. Cool. And I, I need to look amazed, don't I? Because this is going to be for my thumbnail. Like that. I'm just waiting for that logo to turn to plays. Come on, turn to plays. That's vlogs, not that one. The next one then. Days. I don't, if the wind changes, I'm going to stay like this. Oh, perfect for Halloween. There you go. I'll be my thumb now. Lovely, jubbly. Thank you, yes. Righto. So now I can shoot it. Let's see what we get this time. Dilly dilly day. I oh, know, I'm freaking mental, aren't I? There we go. That's what we wanted. There we are. It says an appalling relic. The haunted remains of this abyssal horror has lived for at least 20 lifetimes and will leave, live many more again. We'll stalk the bearer across the galaxy and the next, unless it can be sold before the curse can take effect. Curse. You see, that's us. That's why I think it plays into that emoji quite nicely, you know? Curse. Right now, let's head on to the old space station and uh, I'll do a reload. And what I'll probably do is just put my... I'm wondering whether I should put a a base in this system, but then it might not actually amount to anything. I've just gone and deleted a load of bases that I weren't using. I can't imagine myself having to come back here to get cursed objects unless cursed things really do take effect inside of this system. So you know what, I'll just jump out. That's created a nice little save there, I suppose. Yeah. And then again, I am doing that Halloween base tours, aren't I? So maybe I should, maybe I should. Right, well, anyway, I'm going to jump in my ship and my ship, create another save, do another reload and fly back out and trigger another one. Because you can get, like, um, super exotic ones here as well. And then again, I think I've shown it. I think I've shown it, haven't I? And I've shown that it's a first... Oh, let, let's just do one more, just to make sure it definitely is a first spawn. OK, we're back. Let's just jump in the ship then. And we're just going to test to see if it definitely is a first spawn. And it seems to spawn in at around about a minute and 20 now. So I aim over here again. And let's pulse. I wonder what sort of planets are in this system anyway. Let's have a quick look on the old discoveries. Is there any lush ones here? There's a cactus planet. There is a star bulb one and it's worm ridden. Hmm. I could put a base there, I suppose, couldn't I? Magma. Yeah, out of all of these, I like the hexagonal planets, but I think that one, worm ridden. Planet Iwan. I'll go put a base on there, just a small one, just so I can get back here, just in case something happens. I'm not going to make it massive or anything. It's just going to be small for now, unless we get something really cool happen around these cursed objects. OK, now, when you get the detection, you actually get 20 seconds to actually you know, call it in. So if you just wait, say, 10 seconds in, so when it gets just under 10 seconds, then call it in, boom, then blow it up and get your item from it. I'm not going to bother talking to it this time. Kaboom! You're gone. Oh look, we got a we got an epic -y type one this time, which is pretty darn sweet. Not that it makes any difference to these things, apart from how much they're worth. Then call in your freighter. You might just have to go past where the detection was, just a little bit. No, it's still trying to... Well, that's broken, isn't it? I've blown it up, mate! It shouldn't be getting a freaking message anymore. Right, so just pulse just a little tiny bit more. And then call in your freighter. And then that way, what you can do is do a reload in your freighter. And then as you're flying back, just before you get to the station, about 10 seconds away or 10 pulses away or whatever it is, you should get another one pop. So there we go. I'll just jump out. I'll just show you what I mean. 
So here you go, I've just made a save here. So now I've got my freighter at one end, the station at the other end. I can just keep warping backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. So you go, options and a reload. Okay, right, so I've loaded back in on my actual freighter. So if I fly out of my freighter now, now you have to get a little bit of clearance from your freighter before it allows you to pulse. But what you want to do is get yourself aligned up to the actual station. Start pulsing. And away you go. You can see there it says 1 minute 30. Around the 1 minute 14 mark is when I'm going to get the notification. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so any second now, I'm imagining I'm going to get the detection. There we go. There we are. Now, even if this update has nothing to do with these, these are quite a fun thing to hand out at Halloween inside of the Nexus if you want to you know, scare the bejesus out of a brand new player. They're going to see that and think, oh my God, what's going to happen to me? I've just been cursed by another player. It could be quite fun, you know? So, yeah, there is that to it. There you go. I'm going to go down there to this worm-ridden planet. And um, I'm going to build a little base there. I mean, it's pretty cool having a worm planet anyway. So worm planet with cursed system. It's a double whammy of fun, isn't it? Okay. Let's hope that something creepy happens with either of these things, you know? considering cursed and this is a cursed planet this is a cursed world with cursed things in its system so pretty darn freaking cool and by all means and this even looks like it might be one of these strange colored planets look at the sky it's freaking trippy holy fudge nori seeing a worm jump out on this on oh, its bubbles holy fudge well that's actually pretty cool are we going to get a worm spawn as soon as i land yes look there we go Holy mackerel, that's cool, isn't it? All right, well, that is actually really quite something. Holy moly. Go, wormy worm worm. Okay, well, that was pretty darn freaking sweet, wasn't it? Um, are there any... I think abandoned systems haven't got any structures at all, have they? Let me just double check. I want to see if it's got, like, a, a trading post here. Oh, it has. Okay. Cool. All right. I guess it's just not going to be anybody inhabiting it, though. Is it off-world? Don't be off-world. Be on this planet. Or oh, it is on this planet. Brilliant. Well, I'm going to build a base over there. Once I've built the base, I'll share with you the portal code again. And if you want to come to this majestic planet, I mean, it's got nothing to do with my Halloween planet or anything like this. This is just in case this new update throws something freaking weird at us, either on cursed worlds or in cursed space objects. Yeah, it's a double whammy for covering the cursed stuff, people. And it's also an abandoned system. So actually, there's a triple freaking whammy there, isn't there? Something might happen to this system. Something might happen to these planets. Or something might happen with those items. Anyway, I'll build a base and I'll be right back. Oh, Jums, it's it's kind of a cool vision spot, this. I mean, look, I've got like, this little undergroundy type cave type thing going on. It's very actually quite cool. So yeah, nice little fishing nook. There we go. You can plow. I haven't got any bait on. Maybe I might catch one of those corals that I'm so after. Let's we'll see. Let's we'll see what we get, shall we, people? Pretty darn freaking nice, though, isn't it? It's different. It's a different planet. There we go. Let's see what we get. Come on, little fishy. Oh, yeah. I've got some rusted technology straight away. Fantastically awesome. So, yeah, I've just built this here. It's just like a little Yoda hut with a teleporter. And then out here, I've just got this. Which has just got all my power in. It's just got a load of solar panels hooked up to a battery. I think that'll do the trick, Govs. Yes, I guess. Anyway, I said I'd give to you the portal code again, didn't I? So we go. Portal code is on the screen. Let's see if we can get that on some of these black rocks so you can see it a bit better. There we go. And I could probably even make it night time, couldn't I? There we are. That's a lot better. There we go. And that's in the Euclid. It's inside the 905. This was something that I found years ago, and I'm surprised it's still working, people inside the viewerverse. Anyway, lots of good reasons to come along to this planet, even if you just want to do a spot of fishing in what looks like an oil spill with oil bubbles everywhere under an oily night sky. It's pretty darn freaking lovely. Anyway, I need to go and upload the base. I'll put the base computer all the way over here. I didn't bother putting in a galactic trade terminal because, of course, there's one at the trading post. So there we go. I might as well upload this. I need to give it a name. I can do that in my own time. And you know what? I'll see you guys in the view of us 
in the next episode. Hopefully, if you've hit that notification bell, otherwise you might miss the next episode. You don't want to do that. No. Hit the bell. Hit the subscribe. They're both free and at the freaking call because it means that you can come back here with ease. Yeah, this is for you, not for me. Honest. Honest, governor. Honest. Goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye again. Yeah,